Hi, it's Darren with Smartsheet Guru. Wanted to do a short little video uh, explaining a little bit about um, uh, authentication in AppSheet using Apple ID. I had a situation with uh, a client that I built an app for and uh, they had added a user to an application like this where you uh, share an app, you add the email address of the user, and this will allow uh, that specific user to log into your app, um, and, but they have to use the email address that you've uh, used in the uh, share app screen. And so uh, the client shared it with uh, a user, and the user um, was complaining that they could not log in using their Apple ID. And so I went to the audit logs, which if you don't know how to get to the audit logs in an application in your uh, AppSheet Designer, you go to Manage, you Monitor, and then you click log, Launch Log Analyzer. And that'll bring up the Log Analyzer and you can see errors. Um, or you can also, you, it'll, it'll actually log other things too, not just errors, but uh, any any type of uh, successful activity or errors. And so when I went to that log, I saw this error here. Uh, but there are numerous of them. Where's an app sync? And you can see here for the email address, it uh, for the domain portion, it's at private relay.appleid.com. Um, so uh, what happened is the user in using their Apple ID chose to hide their email address from AppSheet. And so when that happens, Apple creates uh, a private email address that interacts with AppSheet instead of using, uh, instead of displaying their actual email address. And you can see when I clicked on the details of the error log, it, it shows clearly here that app access denied is true. So I can show you real quick what it looks like when you go to log in with an Apple ID and app sheet. It'll ask you whether you want to share your email address or hide your email address. It's gonna ask me for my code. And you can see here, it's asking me, do I want to hide my email or share my email? So if I choose hide my email and log in the app sheet, it's going to create this uh, private Apple ID email address. So uh, at this point, um, if the user gave you this or gave you this email address, you could add this in the app sheet as a user and they could continue to log in with this email address or the or that user could actually go into their apple id settings and under sign in and security they can choose uh, the sign in with apple and they'll see app sheet or if, if they have anything else they'll see more but they can click on app sheet and then uh, if they click stop using sign in with Apple ID, then it, it will remove um, the uh, app sheet authentication using their Apple ID. And so if I try again to log in with my Apple ID,
second time around, they can choose share my email. And once they do that, you can see that it will show up in the corner here. So there's my email. Um, and uh, then they would be able to interact with, with AppSheet is under this email that, that you've uh, shared the application with. So I, I hope this helps someone if, if you're running into this issue with an AppSheet user. You can check out if they're hiding their email address or not. And uh, if they are, then you can instruct them to um, change that in their Apple ID settings or, or add their private email address to the uh, user list. Thanks for watching. If you find these videos helpful, um, please like and subscribe. And if you want any um, Smartsheet or AppSheet coaching, uh, services or need help implementing a solution, you can reach out to me at my website, smartsheetguru.com and find the contact page and send me a message. Thank you.